Having glorified India for more than a century, Tata is a name that echoes across India's industrial history. It was Jamshedji Tata who in 1868 laid the foundation for the multi-generational family empire. This would later be known as the Tata Group. In nearly 150 years since its inception, the Tata Group has been ruled by five people. After Jamshedji Tata, the group was headed by his eldest son, Sir Durab Tata, followed by Sir Naroji Saklatwala, J.R.D. Tata, Ratan Tata, and finally Cyrus Mistry, the current chairman. Let's take a look back at the Tata Group's lasting legacies and milestones. In 1877, the Tata Group undertook the first of its big industrial projects, Empress Mills, a textile venture set up in Nagpur in central India. Under the leadership of Jamshedji Tata came the most dazzling of the Tata enterprises, the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel in Bombay, which opened for business in 1903. Gleaming on the banks of the Arabian Sea, Mumbai's first harbour landmark, the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel is known for its luxury and quality. In 1907, under Sir Durab Tata, the Tata Iron and Steel Company was set up, and seven years later, India's first iron and steel plant started production in Jamshedpur, the eastern part of the country. After Durab Tata, Sir Naroji served the Tata Group, but due to his unexpected death in 1938, 34-year-old J.R.D. Tata was appointed the new chairman. He guided the Tata Group for the next 53 years. J.R.D. Tata became one of the first Indians to be granted a commercial pilot's license in 1929. Three years later, he formed the Tata Aviation Service or Tata Airlines. This was eventually named Air India and nationalized. After J.R.D. Tata's death in 1993, the legacy continued and Ratan Tata took over as the chairman. During his tenure, the group's revenue grew to 4.76 trillion rupees in 2011-2012 from 0.14 trillion rupees in 1991. Ratan Tata retired after 21 years as chairman of Tata Sons, rejuvenating old businesses and entering new ones. For Tata Group, no industry seemed to be off limits. What followed in the new millennium was a series of record-setting deals. The company acquired the Tetley Tea brand in 2000 for 27.5 billion rupees, then the largest overseas acquisition by an Indian company. In 2004, Tata Consultancy Services went public in the largest private sector IPO in the Indian stock market. And what sent Indian automakers scrambling to catch up was the 2008 launch of the Tata Nano, introduced at an inaugural price of rupees 1 lakh and billed as the world's cheapest car. The Tata Group is currently headed by the chairman Cyrus Mistry. Less than two years into his term, Mistry recently started a joint venture between the Tata Group and Singapore Airlines called Vistar. With over 5 lakh employees worldwide and more than 100 operating companies in seven business sectors across six continents, the Tata Group remains a reputed empire across the nation and the globe.